it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I'm making my favorite holiday gifts, or actually just gifts in general, because um, I love to make these and add a gift card to them. So it's like a little something special, but then really the cool gift that they want is the gift card. <laughs> but um, I love these trinket dishes. Um, I've had this one, I think I made this one last year for myself, and I've used it all year. And it doesn't lift. I've used um, I use the adhesive foil from Cricut, and so I've gotten a lot of complaints. I've seen a lot of complaints about how it doesn't cut well, it doesn't weed. It's such a pain in the butt. But as you can see, I when it's still on the mat and still in the machine, I try to pick out some pieces to see if it if it cut well. So I took out the inside of the A and the inside of the H to make sure, because if it didn't cut well, I would hit the C and let it run through one more time. So I cut this on metallic foil, even though it's just um, adhesive foil. Um, I feel like it's two different things. <laughs> so we'll see. I, mean, I wanted to show you how easily it weeds if it cuts well. I did put in a new blade to cut this. All right. So first things first is when there's like a when it's long like this, I do like to cut out the individual pieces before I weed because then when I'm weeding, I don't have to worry about um, the other letters lifting. Like for instance, if I start to weed this one, I don't want to lose the little heart that goes over the eye on it in someone else's name while I'm, and these are so long. So I do like to cut out the individual pieces, the individual names. So let's do that first. And then fingers crossed, I'm going to weed it. Um, these trinket dishes are from Daiso. So it's a little Japanese store. It's a chain. I don't know if you guys have it or not, but it's so cool because it's not everything is a dollar, but it's close. I want to say it's a dollar fifty to five dollars. I mean, the prices are marked, but um, you know they're great prices for these things, and I just love the way they look. Um, and I I used these last year for my daughter's friends, and then I bought lip gloss and fake rings and put that in with their. Uh, with their names on the inside so super super cute um i think they'd be great for birthday um, favors as well all right so let's while well, before we weed let's get our um, tissue paper or our napkin and let's wipe down these trinket dishes so you want to get your rubbing alcohol so that we get rid of all the oils on the all the oils and dirt so that our foil really sticks to it because we want it to last so we're gonna wipe it down. The other thing is, uh, and I'm a firm believer in this, is after you put it down, you've gotta let it rest. Don't let, don't touch it, don't move it. Just let it um, stick. So if you're doing this for a gift, try to do it a couple days beforehand because, you, I mean, some of these things last forever. Like my daughter's water bottles, um, I did that for her and it's been a couple years and it's still good. So it just depends. Um, I think it needs to be cured and clean. So, all right, so we've got all those out of the way. I'm only doing those. I wanted to show you these. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. All right, fingers crossed, let's do the first one. So I'm just going to pull this up as soon as I can. Here we go. Oh no, and it didn't weed quite as well as I would like. So you're gonna have your tool to hold it down as you, I mean, it's not bad, but I've had it where it just pulls up and I haven't had any problems. So here's the edges of the arrow. So I'm gonna want to make sure it doesn't rip off, but I'm hoping everything else will pull. Okay. So it's a little bit, it's not quite, but it's not bad. So you just need to make sure as you pull up that each piece stays down. It's like it just needs a little bit of help, but it's going. The bottom side, because it's it has so much holding down, it pulls up really easily. All right, so let's see if now that we have everything down, let's see. I 
I'm sticking to this thing. I'm trying not to touch it where, where it's going to stick onto the trinket dish because I don't want my, I don't want to dirty up the adhesive there. So I'm trying to go around it. All right, it's going. That was not so bad, but honestly, I've had it. I probably should have cut it twice. I was fooled by how easily the middles came out. <laughs> but okay, like I said, it wasn't too bad. So that's one name down. Let's get that to the side. And I'm just gonna pop these out in the middle. So that's all done. You have your transfer tape. So I'm just gonna cut this off a little bit. Now the transfer tape, I do use Cricut a lot because when it goes on crazy sale, I will buy it. I'm, I'm, uh, when it comes to crafting these days, I'm buying just whatever's on sale. <laughs> whatever's a good deal. So I like Cricut products. Um, just make sure that when you're using the transfer tape that for this, you're using the gray one. The ones, um, the purple ones are for the Cricut um, glitter adhesive only. Okay, so this is down. You wanna make sure you get it to really stick to the transfer tape. Okay. Good, so it's sticking really well. I'm just gonna pull this up. So we're going to do our first one. So when you're doing this, hold this kind of, you know, taut so that it doesn't, um, just so that we don't have any bubbles. What you want to do is I, I want to uh, look at this to make sure about where I want to put it. I mean, these are easy because we sized it so that we know it's going to pretty much go the whole length. So you kind of want to eyeball it, make sure it's kind of in the middle. And then I sort of just let it fall down. And I want to go from middle out. So even though this middle is down, this is still sticking up. I'm going to push it down so that I don't have any bubbles. And I'm pushing from middle out. And that's really going to help you avoid all your bubbles. So this side went down perfect. So let's do this side. Okay. I feel like I have a great transfer. I'm even going to lift it really close so that you could see, but I feel very confident that this has no bubbles in it. Okay, and when you're lifting it up, just kind of go slow just in case you don't want to rip things off. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see it. It's upside down right now. So let me put this down, give me a second. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around. And can you see, there's not a single bubble. And it's so cute. I'm gonna put the gift card down here. I think anybody would love this gift. All right, I'm gonna do a few more. So you guys don't have to watch it. You've seen one. Practice, it will help. I mean, this is one long thing. What's nice though is that our tails, and I don't want to touch this because I want it to cure right now, but our tails are really thin. So even though it's like a really long piece of vinyl that we're putting down, it helps that it's thin because you won't get bubbles that way. If this was long and thick, it would be really difficult to lay down. So you really want to pick your battles of what images you want to put down. Um, but as you can see, we didn't have any issues putting this down. It is really, really pretty. I think this, and I chose the gold, um, the gold foil. I, I love it. So here's this one. Here's the one I made last year. I'm gonna try to lift it up so you can kind of see the difference. So her name, because my name is so um, flat, it's. And when you do these, I do like using lowercase letters because the uppercase letter is gonna be so big, it's gonna take up a lot of room on your thing and then everything else is gonna be really small. But see, my name is even, right? Like the A, like where it ends. So this one, I was able to make it bigger. 
we have a D up here and then the letters kind of bounce a little bit, but you know, I think this is so delicate and so pretty. I just absolutely love it. All right, so I'm done, but I'm gonna do a few more if you wanna watch and see if I make any more mistakes because that is always um, an option. Um, okay, so let's do the next one. So I'm, you know what, I'm tempted to go this way this time. I'm hoping it's not as delicate with the beginning of the arrow as opposed to the tail end. So Okay, here we go. And when you're doing this, you want to peel back like this. Okay, so maybe that's the thing. Peel back on itself, then it's not fighting as much. I can't get that up. Okay, there we go. This isn't bad, but it's not perfect. <laughs> And I want to get all the way here and then rip off the arrow, which is what it feels like it's about to do. And sometimes I might... Oh my gosh, okay, hold up. I'm just gonna rip it off. And I feel like the whole thing came up. So my, this little section right here is driving me insane. I think I'm gonna have to get my X-Acto knife out and cut it a little bit, maybe. Oh no, there, it came off, okay. Okay, perfect. So that took a little bit more, but it's still, it's so worth this project, I love it. This is the same, so I also use this to do my wedding signs, so um, I just love the way the foil looks, so. And the gold with the white paint behind it looks really, really pretty. Okay, so here's the second one. It's for Miss Susan. <laughs> my daughter's teacher. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. And this is the easy part. It's just the weeding. It's if you have a good cut, then it's good. Okay, here we go. Then put this down. Remember, you want to pull this straight out so that there's no bubbles to even start with. I'm going to put it down. Kind of let go, but I didn't push this down hard, so it's still, there's room to negotiate and push out any air bubbles. All right, so this second half is good. Let's do this side. And I'm still lifting up right here so that anytime that I need to push out some air, it's coming out easily and then I'm laying down the rest of it. And I think this is another perfect one, yay. And I wanna push this down now while the transfer tape is still on because my oily fingers are not touching the foil at all. And then when I pull this up, I'm not touching that plate at all. I'm gonna let it cure as is. Okay, so here we go. I think it looks really good. I'm just gonna make sure. Can you see it? It's so pretty. All right. 
then I'm gonna do one more just in case you need confirmation. All right, so I'm gonna pull from this side again. And this is another one of my daughter's teachers. All right, so the arrow went down easily. This side, you know, the top part of the arrow, same thing happened on the other one. It didn't come off well. All right, here we go. The heart didn't stay down. This thing, the bottom is reading perfectly, so I'm tempted to just cut it off right here. There, okay, so I made it all the way around. All right, here we go. And I'm just gonna rip this off so that I don't have this to deal with. And then I'm gonna try to go back in over here and get these individual pieces out. done. I had one year where it didn't cut at all and so I just threw away that sheet because it required getting my knife and cutting each around each letter and I was just butchering it so sometimes you're just gonna have to lose the material unfortunately so it's really important to either test your cut or test it on the mat before you pull it out so you have an option still to cut it one more time okay so here we go all right perfect now I just got to pop out the insides of the L's and the E's and then we're ready to put down okay so hit me up with your questions or comments or if you have any tips, because I'm always learning from you guys as well, and then I pass it along. Um, and then if you have any special requests, I'm here for that too, as well. So let me know. And if you need to send me an email because there's a file involved or a lot of details, um, you can send it to an, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. And okay, so we're almost done with this one. Thankfully, the transferring part has been really, really easy, as you can see. Okay, so I'm pulling this one out really tight, as usual. I'm putting the name down. I'm kind of putting it down here. Pushing it out. Going slowly this way. I think we have another perfect transfer. And um, you can see that I'm using the same piece of transfer tape. So you can reuse it until it, you can't anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. And then I'm going to turn off the video. But here's the, the next one. I love these. And I love using the bounce lettering and the arrows because nothing is meant to be straight. So it really, you know... That helps the project too, because then you're not distracted like, oh, this should have been a little bit lower or whatever. These are all, they're meant to be whimsical and kind of flowy by design. <laughs> all right, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ah, here we go.